man, UK's strongest man, Britain's strongest man, and a five-time finalist, the world's strongest man. So, um, you say that. <laughs> Could you just give us a demonstration of exactly how strong you are? Yep, sure. Um, I lifted these weights earlier. And <laughs> I just thought, well, you know, as a test, I might try and see if you can lift them too. Yeah. Um, do you want to? You think yep. you could have a go at that? Yep, sure. the bar bending. <laughs> that bar, which is about an inch thick steel, bent. Yep. That's absolutely <laughs> amazing. I am so impressed. So, I, mean, I want to just get a feel for how much that is for, compared to your weight. Do you mind me asking how, how, how heavy you are? Sure, I'm, I'm 180 kilos. You're 180 kilos, and, and what did you just lift here? I mean, this is... That's 380 kilos. 380 kilos. So that means that you lifted a bit more than twice your own weight. Yep. I mean, that's like a small car, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. Small car. Could you lift a small car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, so, so this business about you... So, basically, you being able to lift twice your own weight, is that... Is there anyone who can lift, let's say, five times their own weight? Um, maybe not five times, but some of the lighter guys... Um, generally, the bigger you are, the less number of times you, you can lift your own body weight, basically. The lighter guys will be lifting three, maybe three and a half times their weight. The heavier guys will be just over two. Absolutely fascinating. I'm really, really so happy that you could come on the show. And thank you very much for showing us all. Great. Thank you. thank you very much. Wow. OK, so that was very interesting, though, right? If you want to be able to be strong per weight, Right? If you want to be able to lift many times your own weight, well, it turns out you, could, you need to be small. And we've got the world champions at this, and they turn out to be very small. And I'd like to Hello. introduce you. Well, what's your name? Sorry. My name is Karen Wall. Karen Wall. I'm a PhD student at Cambridge University at the moment. Oh, welcome. Okay. And I do actually study how ants are managed to able to... Uh, to are managed to carry large loads. So. Right, so it's ants who are the world champions at lifting many times their own weight. That's right, yeah. Now, just talk us through this. So what kind of ants are these? So these are basically leaf-cutting ants. Basically. Look at this one. Look yeah, at that. It's amazing. And it's like... He's showing he, off, isn't he? He's showing off, yeah. <laughs> he's, he knows lovely. the cameras are on, doesn't he? Yeah, da, da, da. OK, well, are they going to mind if we pick them up? Are they going to get really annoyed having so carried he, it that far? He, if I was carrying my sofa upstairs... He, he might drop it, but he might... Be alright with it. Let's see. Some giant pick me up just to weigh me. It's alright. Um, all right. Brilliant. Okay. Nice one. Doesn't look too annoyed. Still got his sofa. Uh, so now we're on um, 20.5 milligrams. Okay. 20.5 milligrams together. Now, can we get uh, just the ant on his own? Is that how? Yeah. yeah. Let's try. He might get a bit angry there. <laughs> okay. All right. Try to get him up. They don't like leaving this fragment. If so. you put the fragment where he wants to put it, does he get pleased? Is he going to go, oh, thanks? No, I don't no, think so. Mean. Still getting angry. Oh, OK, OK, fair enough. So All right, so put him back put, on the scale. It's just the ant now. So we had 20.7 before him. And now we, and now we have yes, four. Four or 4.9. 4. So that's, that's about, he was carrying about four what? or five times Ten his own weight. Yeah. Four or five times. And so the equivalent of even more weights than that. And they can even do more. Like, they can go up to about 10 times. And that you might have been, uh, seen, he's been able to carry it, whereas the weightlifter, he couldn't, he couldn't move anymore. Don't diss the weightlifter. He's still here. Yeah. All right. OK. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much. I mean, that's yeah. absolutely wonderful. Thank you for kind of bringing them to see us. <laughs> so the, the reason why ants are so super strong, or seem so super strong, is because they're so small that they need almost no muscles in their legs to hold them up, because they haven't, haven't got much volume, they haven't got much weight. 
So almost all their muscle is available for carrying things. And that's just true of everything. Like the smaller you get, the, the more muscle you have for carrying. So the smaller you get, the stronger you get per weight. But there's another animal that's even better than ants at doing something else, and that's jumping. And we realized that before, didn't we, that we have to jump to also be a great dancer. And so it turns out that this is also something you can do much better if you're small. Now I want to introduce you to a very special guest. My name's Tim. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got the only genuine flea circus in the UK. Wow. <laughs> So, um, are we actually going to see this? some fleas being... Yeah, I brought some performers with me. First of all, we're going to have a demonstration of flea jumping. These are untethered and untrained fleas. Ooh. Untethered. But they won't get out of this. No, they? hopefully not. Fingers crossed. No. <laughs> we try, we, don't worry, guys. We, we, we checked this earlier, and there's no way they can get out of here. This is like cold it's for fleas. Um, so, we're going to no. stick one of the fleas on top of the diving board, which is just here. Whoa! Oh, and there it goes. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> oh, there it is. There we go. Look at that. How far did it jump? That's incredible. That's about 30 centimetres, I think. Wow. Um, look, we, we recorded something earlier about flea jumping. I just want to show that on this because it's really amazing to see them jumping. I think, we can see, yeah, here we go. Now look at them. He's ready to jump. He's ready to jump. And then off he goes. And he comes behind here somewhere. No, but um, that's absolutely amazing, isn't it? So they can jump. How far can they jump? They can jump. These fleas are about 30 centimetres, so several hundred times their own body length. So that would be like me jumping to the top of Big Ben, right? Absolutely. You could clear Big Ben. Clear it. Yeah. So we wouldn't need stairs, lifts. Nothing. If we were fleas. Absolutely. And they basically, they're so good, they, all they do is spend their whole time mucking about in the circus, do they? Something do like they that, enjoy? Yeah. I mean, do, they, do you have a relationship with these fleas? Do they, how do you feed them? Well, like the old flea circus owner said, I live off them and they live off me. <laughs> they... They, 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 yeah, yep. they suck your blood. I roll up my sleeves and take no, them to the team. that's yeah. amazing, isn't it? That is love. That is love. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you look after these fleas. Um, what, I mean, so, so what, you know, what, on the circus performing front, what, what can we see? So Are the, they up for it? Are the they, performer they... I brought today is Fifi, Fifi the flea, and Fifi, Fifi is a juggling flea. How's she doing? Oh. Oops, nearly. <laughs> I'm going to pick her up. <laughs> oh, there she goes. No, that's amazing. No, that's amazing. Oh. Oh. There she is. I don't know. Fifi, the flea. Wow. Well, it's a great, it was a great pleasure meeting you and meeting your fleas and seeing how far they can jump. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much Thanks for very coming. Much. Thank you. So we, we talked about wh how, what you had to do to be able to, to dance. It turned out you had to be able to stand on your own feet. You had to be able to be strong enough in your legs and have quite a lot of explosive power, and you had to be able to jump. And as you've seen, it basically is easier to do all of those things the smaller you get. The smaller you get, the stronger you get. The higher you can jump, the more you can climb up walls and everything. It's so incredibly great being small. <laughs> but the other... The other way around is also true and, and sort of depressing, isn't it? It means the bigger you get, the harder all those things get, and so the harder it's going to be to dance. So what we thought we'd do is that we'd turn me into an elephant and just to show you exactly how hard it is for a big thing like an elephant to dance. Now, um, oh, yeah, let me give you my jacket. So made some trousers. What, what someone has done, the seamstress has done, is they've sewed sand into these things. So not just heavy at the bottom, they're heavy all the way down, and they kind of... Um, <laughs> they, um, <laughs> it's so heavy that I can't actually get up. So let me just try. <laughs> OK, I'm slightly... Uh, uh. Right. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's actually funny, just standing up in these is exhausting. It's so heavy, so much weight I'm having to carry. And it's quite hard to move your legs. Um, but I'm still going to give it a go at dancing. 
because maybe even despite all these problems of being big elephants, maybe, maybe they can dance. Let's just try it, shall we? Keep and forward. Me. Okay. Back on the left. Back on the right. Okay, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, this one forward. I think it's... I'm exhausted. Well, thanks very much for trying, guys, but I really think it's hopeless. Thanks Never mind. Lot. Thank you. See you in a bit. <laughs> Reflector, it looks like it's really great being small. And so you, maybe you're getting a bit depressed 